Hi out there. If, if you're wondering how to install another one of these into the back end of your centre console, I'm going to show you a quick video now. As before, I've had all, as you can see from previous videos, I've had all this out. And I thought, well, why not? Once I've got it out, I might install the spare one of these I have. I'm going to install the new one. So, let's crack on. Okay, so I plan on installing this spare socket here. So, the diameter of this is 29. I haven't got a 29 drill bit. So, I'm going to make do with a 20 and the blade off of this to go around and make it bigger. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put some masking tape over. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to whoop, drop it. That's what I'm going to do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from this side to this side, and then give me the middle. Okay, so from there to this side is ten and a half centimeters. So half of that is let's just say fifteen and a half. So five and a half about there. Where my finger is. Need a pencil just to do that. Then let's say come up about an inch, so that's about right, about there. Like that. You're never going to get it perfect unless you really take your time with it. use this now over there like so and draw around the inside of it and that gives you a rough area where you need to draw to or cut to I'm going to use the blade right? I've continued to clear out around here okay I just thought there's no point in showing you everything not on this what I've been doing is using the blade and just <laughs> alright I've got the wires I've finished doing the hole so Test fitted it and it does fit. See? So what I'm gonna do with these wires now is cut these two round terminals off and tap them into the front cigarette lighter. With this from the back. Honestly, it ain't gonna matter because you won't see it. Just slot these over. Up underneath. You assess this bit out yourself. show you much here because my hands in the way what I'm doing is literally just tightening it up on the side at the back down here making sure it's level there you go Nice little fit. So that's it. I'll show you how to wire this up in the car now. Okay, as you can see, I've already wired a 12 volt cigarette socket here, and this is for the light that is under here. 
So what I'm going to do with these cables here for the new USB is where are they? Get some of these. Hold the cables in place. Notice this wire's got a fuse in it, I'm going to leave that. There you go. Then I'm going to attach these. To these wires here. I'm going to tap into them because they're the wires that go to my socket that's up here. Alright, okay, so what I've done, I forgot to hit record, that's what I forgot to do. But I cut the main wire that I had attached originally and I've crimped it. Alright, so, okay, so what I've done, look, found a blue crimp spade. And attach two wires together like that. There's probably a neater way of doing this, um, but for now, this will work. So now look. You can connect them. And that's them all connected. This wire ain't really that long. Just to give you enough cable in it, look. So all I've got to do now is actually connect up the lights, the light which is this one, and the cigarette socket needs working. But I could probably just tap it straight into there, and that's it. And well, apart from the lights, so that's the centre console all wired up with the new voltmeter USB, and one at the back, which is the old one which is over the back here that's it all wired in all I've got to do now is the lights which I can do that after I've reinstalled it well there it is guys that's the new USB in the back and the one at the front and all wired up you know so cheers for watching hit that subscribe button that's down here leave comments I know there's probably neat ways of wiring this up but this is what I've got access to at the moment um, so Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, see you soon.